Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can create a watercolor or oil painting effect like this from customer photos for your ornaments. We're going to be using Be Funky, which is $14.99 a month. It's a great tool that you can use knowing that the watercolor effects that you put on the images are going to be uniform. You know what to expect. So first, you'll get some sample photos over here inside of Canva. I just went over here to elements and photos and typed in dog photo, couple photo, cat photo, house photo. Pull them over here into your document and then download. Over here in Be Funky, there's all sorts of stuff that you can play around with, but the tools that I use primarily are going to photo editor. You're going to open from your computer. Go to downloads, open one of your animals. The effect that I use the most is down here under watercolor, and it's this first one at the top, watercolor GFX1. Click on it, it will convert your photo to watercolor. And then you can hit this little settings button, and you can mess with the amount of watercolor that it's adding to your photo, how much it's changing it. The fidelity, so do you want it to be a crisper image, or do you want it to have more brush strokes? I like the fidelity to be around two. Variation, how much you're allowing the AI to change the image. You can play around with that. Now let's say that you want to remove the background before you do this effect on it. Let's get out of here and go to edit. Down here, click on background remover, apply, and then go to artsy and the watercolor effect. If you are not removing the background inside of Be Funky, then you'll probably want to do so inside of Canva first. So I'll just click on the image and go to background remover and then download it like this and upload it to Be Funky, depending on what you're doing with your ornament, if it's a full background or if it's a cutout. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go to save to computer. I'm going to save it as a PNG. Now let's try it with the cat. I'm gonna go to watercolor. Let's just try the second one and see what it looks like. You can get in here and play around with them, see if you can find a style that makes you stand out from other sellers. But watercolor has such a presence inside of the ornament space. I wouldn't stray too far from it, but you can get creative over here. That is nice. I do like that. All right, so I'm going to save that one. I'm not going to remove the background on this one. Let's go ahead and do the home one and the couple one. For homes, watercolor is really nice, but I also like to play around with the oil painting. Yeah, so the watercolor does look nice. I'm gonna move the variation up and see what happens. Not a lot changed. Let's cancel it. We're still over here in Artsy. We're going to go back and go to Oil Painting. And I usually use the second one, the Impasto, because it really gives you those brush strokes. You can really see it on the grass, but also up here. Go to Settings and play around with the sliders just to see what you like the most. I do like the variation a little bit less because you see the panes on the windows are not changed as much as they were at four. Okay, so let's say that I'm creating an ornament that's going to be an oil painting home ornament. I'm gonna download this, apply it, save it to my computer. And then the one that you have to be the most meticulous about is the couples or the people because when you add an effect, it can change their faces and you definitely don't want bad customer feedback on their face was changed. So let's try it with the watercolor effect. Go to the settings. I'm going to decrease the amount so I can see their original faces. But let's make sure the variation is down to one so it's not changing their features. And then increase the watercolor. I feel like that's still staying true to them. Apply and save to the computer. Another thing you can do with the people is just Pull in the one that you edited and compare and make sure that it looks right. You can always overlay them and then decrease the opacity of the watercolor effect so that you can see the real them through it. But it's just a fine line between you want them to see that there's a watercolor effect, but you still want it to look like them. So I would say those are the trickiest ones. The animals is kind of hard to go wrong there. So let's say this is our little guy. A lot of people, what they'll do is they will find these watercolor splashes and put it behind the animal. And so you could do that. You could go to elements and look up watercolor splash. And this is how you could also offer variation inside of your listing. Like they get to choose the splash color behind their animal. Let's put our ornament template behind there. I got that from Inner Circle Prints. I went to the catalog and then clicked on ornaments and went to number two and downloaded the ornament template. 
and then I can decide what font I'm going to use for the name and where I'm going to place the name. Do I want the dog to be coming in from the bottom with just his head showing? Do I want the splash to be smaller? It'll just depend on your micro market research. A font that I like to use for the animal names is Brixton. I think it's still festive enough for Christmas time, but it also has that hand drawn feel for my little kitty cat. I did not remove the background on her. When there's depth of field and it's blurry back here, but clear right here, those are kind of tricky with removing the background. That's not going to happen a lot because your customers, their photos won't be like that. But for this one, I think that I could do some kind of speckled edge effect like this to kind of blend it into the ornament. And I will be doing a video on how you can create this frame yourself. So there's our cat comparison. Okay, the homes can get kind of tricky. Any editing that you need to do to the photo before you convert it to watercolor, I would do in Canva beforehand. So let's say that this is the photo that they sent us and I wanna brighten it. I'm gonna go to edit, adjust, and bring up the brightness a bit. And then also I need it to expand to the top and the bottom, but the photo they sent me is this ratio. I can go to Magic Studio and scroll over and click Magic Expand. I choose the freeform option and then drag the corners and click Expand. And the AI will generate four options for you to choose from. I would say it works probably 80 to 90% of the time. So like this first option, you see how it cut the grass off up here? The grass looks fake, so that's not ideal. I'm gonna choose this first one because the trees look the best and click done and then I'm going to enlarge it and put my template over it just to see where it's going to be cutting the house off. This effect has saved me a lot though if someone sends me a photo of a person and their elbow is cut off. Usually it works pretty well. All right, I'm gonna go back to oil painting. Yeah, and it kind of covered me right there because it still looks uniform with the rest of the grass and the watercolor looks good too. I'm gonna upload it over here and now I have my watercolor home that I'm going to be using. So now that you know how to make the watercolor effect and be funky, in the next video I'm going to show you how you can do this kind of faded edge and pull it into a Canva frame that you create.